Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I am talking about Kikurio Bed and Breakfast for Spirits. This is season number one, episode number three. I took a trip to the capital of the Hidden Realm. In this episode here you have OA, OA and um Odana out on a date. That's what it seems like. He takes he, he takes it to the, the capital of the old Oishi. With with the with the head one it is and he takes her out there, he takes her, takes her to a nice, nice restaurant. He he, he um he he, he introduces her to somebody else who also knew his grandfather. Um, everything's going pretty good. Everything's going fantastic. Nice, the nice little sweet little date until until they get separated. Now this part I don't understand. I said, how can you not know that the person that you with is not there? I mean, O'Donnell just she just walks off and leave her, and she does this. Hey, where you go? Because she drops her, she drops her on um, her fan. She goes to pick it up. He's gone. Now I don't know who he was talking to this whole time. I mean, he, I don't know he couldn't notice that somebody, the person he was with isn't there anymore. But whatever. But still. They separated, and next thing you know, a lot of always she is trying to eat her. And then she takes out the fan, and she just acts and he just swings it like this, and then she sees the power of the fan and why that fan was so important and what, that she got it. Because it seemed to have the power to blow away all other um a little always she. I was like, what in the world? And then in the process, she also runs into um um she runs into this, this the um the one of the one of the, one of the women who um who stared at, at the end where Odana is who's in, who, who's madly in love with him and also she also jealous of Oishi but she he runs into her because she pretty much watching her and trying to make sure she doesn't hurt her man in a way and they also run into the girl who they were trying to, who, who they met at the um at the end because. She's running away because somebody, somebody's trying to force her to marry her, to marry him, which is a theme in this show. I, I had no idea why these guys keep trying to force women to marry him. I said, "Why? What is wrong with you?" And the weird part is, you got Ordana telling the guy, "You can't force a woman to marry you. She has to love you." And, and you got always saying, "Wow, that's a pot calling the color black." You're trying to force me to marry you. Matter of fact, you're still trying to force me to marry you, and you and you introducing me as your fiance. I, and I keep telling you no, but you don't listen to me. So this episode was just weird. I mean, it, it started kind of sweet, sort of in a way. I mean, you still got Odana saying a lot of weird stuff because because it had a moment they were eating, they were eating together, and she asked him, "What's your favorite food?" And he talked about the intros of humans. I just like, no, no, dude. Like, and you want to marry her? I just, what? And you talk about eating people. I just, I, I, I don't know if, he, if he's in love with her, or he wants to eat her, or he just, he just want to control her, or, or he's just trying to win her because of the debt thing. I, like, I had no idea what, where he feels with her. It, it's very weird. And I know she's not really in love with him, I don't think. Or she may fall in love with him. I'm not sure where this is going with this. It's, it's not really, it's, it's, sometimes you can see where things are going. But it, it seemed like, because he he's all over the place. Because at first, he seemed like he, he wanted to marry her. He seemed, he seemed very nice. Then she rejected him and said, I want to pay my debt uh, 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 on my own way. He got pissed off, threatened, threatened, threatened to eat her all the time. And then, the elder, Pima told him to behave. And that's the thing, he takes her on a date. And he wants to marry her, but yet eat people. I don't know. It's just weird. This show is weird. It's weird. I'm trying to see where it's going. I mean, I, 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 I'm not sure I liked this episode that much, but I, I, mean, I didn't hate it either, but it was like, it has some interesting parts in there. I mean, discovering what that fan was about was nice. Um, everything that shows somebody, introduce somebody who's new, I really do like these characters. It's just that sometimes they, they do things that's just like this, I don't understand what, why. I just, what? Hopefully it pays off in the end. We'll see where this is going. Because... Even though um, Owe is not really in love with um, O'Donnell, she did help him out in this episode and, and defend him using the fan. And the guy who um, was trying to force him on to marry him learned his lesson, but the, but O'Donnell didn't. So I just, I have no idea what's going on. Because it's, it's funny that the guy telling the one, other guy, you can't force a girl to marry you. She has to love you. And while he's doing the same exact thing, too, so I just, What? But overall, interesting episode. Weird, yes. I'm gonna see where the show. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna keep it going with the show. I want to see where it's going. Cause it, it has the whole soap opera kind of feel to it. It's like a, a romance story, and I and I and, and I and I was wrong 
last episode, cause I, cause I thought for sure it was gonna be like a love triangle situation going on between um OA, um Odana and um Genji. But I don't think Genji's in, like in love with her anymore. I I, 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 I thought some chemistry between them, but I, I guess I was wrong on that part. Or maybe they might be still going in the direction. I, I have no idea. But uh, all I know for sure they're gonna be she's gonna be working with Genji in the restaurant. But is anything gonna happen more from there? I I don't know because uh, Adana, I'm not exactly sure where he stands exactly. Like why he? I mean I know I know his her grandfather owes some a, a debt, and so that's why he want to marry her. But does he love her? Does he want to be there for her, or does he want to eat her? I don't, I don't, I don't know. So leave your comments down below. <laughs> Let me know what you thought of this episode. Of you thought of this episode. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hope when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. And sorry, I haven't been saying anybody's names. I'm having a hard time getting these names down. Just yeah, I'm I'm working on it because I'm not I'm not I'm not used to the names just yet, and I, and I don't want to keep stumbling over them. So I, I just keep going, keep it going forward. But I, I, I'm working on it. So leave your comments down below. And let me know what you thought of this episode here. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel a big like. Hit the thumbs up. Ship up and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it like I always say. In my dream in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.